Hello, welcome back. Day 22. FTB plexiglass mounted. How's it going? Um, the the goal for the stream today is to get the everlasting guilty pool. Uh, we started working on this yesterday, but we realized that we didn't have enough mana. So, um, after stream yesterday, what I did was I added another entropinium over here. So I have two of these. So I'm running like two TNT explosions at once and you just saw that finished up. Um, I don't have any more TNT because my gunpowder is a little bit low. Hey Toligas and Quinn, how are you guys doing? Yeah, and my stuff despawned on me and I got really upset. <laughs> So I need to uh, I need to get some more gunpowder so that I can make some more TNT because I have approximately 1000 and we know that you need 5 gunpowder to make one piece of TNT. So oh god the phantoms are attacking. Haha you phantoms are no match for me. Oh god <laughs> Fred coming in with the yeet while I was flying in the air. I'm glad to see that works even when you're flying. The phantom menace, that's true. I still don't understand why Moyang haven't removed the phantoms yet. Clearly, it was a bad decision to add them. So why not remove them? It would make so much sense. But yeah, I just need to make a little bit more TNT so that I can refill the uh, entropinium. You never have a problem with phantoms? Uh, I think it's a it's a issue with a majority of people though, Gwyn. Like, mostly even Hermitcraft. All the hermits in Hermitcraft agree that phantoms should be removed. Cat got first. Welcome, cat. How are you doing? Oh, <laughs> totally, guys, you did me into the screen. Only because they don't sleep? That's true. But it's because hermits, they are extremely busy. <laughs> and needing to sleep while they're trying to do their builds and stuff is difficult. Oh, and I've shrunk. Awkward squirrel shrunk me. I'm tiny dead shot now. I wonder if I can go into the stable. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Stop whining. <laughs> Just go to do like beat ups and carry a bed with you everywhere. That is true. That is true. <laughs> I can't believe I could go inside that table. Okay, that that. That shrink has got to be one of the best things I've ever done. I'm really happy I did that. I think I'm missing some TNT. There we go. So, uh, 64 here, 64 here, and the rest goes here. That should give me a nice little burst of mana. I'm not sure how much it will give me, but it should be enough to at least fill up these pools. Any item that uh, stops phantoms in the pack? I haven't seen any. I think uh, phantoms is one of those things that gets ignored by many mod developers. Okay, so this thing is filling up pretty well. Uh, I added more mana pools yesterday. These two over here. So we should have 10 mana pools over here. And then these are just two extra for the, uh, for the elven gateway. Are they ball bules? All bills was ball bills. No sleep charm. No, unfortunately, no dark utilities in this pack. I'm I'm really missing that sleep charm, especially from cuboid outpost. Baubles. Oh, I I saw ball bills. I was like, what is what is ball bills? But anyway, uh, I don't think there is any charm or anything that can get rid of phantoms. Phantom, let's see. Um, there's a Phantom Ink. There's a Glyph of Conjure Mage Block. I have no idea what that does. Oh, it's just a Phantom Block. 
Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything. Uh, and we are waiting for the mana to fill up over there so that we can make the pool. In the meantime, I want to get working on the refinery because we need the refinery to make phenolic resin and to make acetaldehyde. So we need two of these refineries. So let's get started on some immersive engineering. First things first, I need the book. Heavy machinery, a refinery. This is the th this is the thing that we are building today. So we're going to need twice of the items that have been stated over here. Game rule daylight cycle falls and set it to noon. I mean that's the easiest way to do it. <laughs> If I wanted to, I could actually do that. That is not really that big a deal for me. <clears throat> it's just annoying when you're not near your bed. And then the things just spawn in. Okay, we need some steel rods. We need some steel scaffolding. Uh, I think we need more of this. 18 should be enough. I think we needed 16. Because one of these needs 8, so we need 16, yeah. Uh, 4 light engineering blocks. Light engineering. So I need to make 4 of these. Which needs some sheet metal. Okay. Uh, I'll do this manually for now. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 4 of these. Carrying a bed with you? I am. I am, but that's just because this is modded Minecraft. And the reason I carry this uh, sleeping bag with me is because of the phantoms. Otherwise, I wouldn't really bother too much. Uh, do I need some more sheets? Yes, I do. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get a multi-server press and set it up over here where my smelting factory is best part is that i can use a pattern provider i think uh iron plates cannot go with the smelting factory can they or iron ingots can they be smelted further i don't think they can nope doesn't look like they can so uh, we're going to set this to input and output from the right and all I need now I think all I need is to power this thing with a flux point let's see I should probably just use one flux point and have energy cables over here but you know what Flux points are easy to make. I don't mind. Now I need one pattern over here. And that's going to be for iron plates. Let's see if this works. Iron plates. That's in the pattern grid. So this thing goes in the multi server press to make iron plates. Please tell me this works. If I ask for one iron plate. Oh, it did work. Nice. So let's get a hundred. Yep, that works. That works all right. Okay, that was easy. So I just need two iron plates. Uh, I think four and two copper ingots. That should make us the iron mechanical components. Which can be used to make the thing I need is the light engineering blocks so that's complete uh, then we need 16 iron sheet metal which is going to be more iron plates four heavy engineering blocks 10 fluid pipes and two redstone engineering blocks two of these uh, then I need some heavy engineering blocks I don't think I have any at this point So this is going to need some steel sheet metal and some steel mechanical components and electrum. So this needs some steel plates. I guess I can make a pattern for those as well. Steel plates. 
they just go in the multi silver press, right? So we can put this here. This is done. So let's get a hundred of these. Yep, that works. I should probably have like separate uh, multi silver presses for all the plates and stuff. But honestly, at this point in the pack, I don't see a reason to do that. Now, does this need copper or electrum in the engineer's workbench? It still needs copper. Okay, that's good to know. Internet just had a moment when you took your dog outside. What happened? Did, did it not like that you took the dog out? Okay, steel plates, one, two, three, four. That gives me four steel sheet metal. We can use this uh, to make the heavy engineering blocks. I think that should be it, right? For the heavy engineering? Yes. Nope, not gonna work when you close the door. Yeah. It happens. Happens to the best of us. Okay, so I need, what, 16 of these, right? Nope, I need 32. Good thing I made more iron plates when I did. And just 10 fluid pipes now. So I need 10 of these. And I think we're good. I don't know why the projector is not in this pack. Uh, it's a bit annoying. Now I think what I need to do is get this fermenter started and also get all the stuff in the dynamic tank. Uh, I miss why you need double. Are you making two of them? Yes, I am. So the thing is, the refinery is used to make the phenolic resin, but the acetaldehyde which it needs is also made in a refinery. So I basically need two of them. That's that's the reason. So I need one dynamic tank before I can move forward with this. And I'm thinking, why not borrow one of these dynamic valves from here? We need a structural glass. There we go. Oh, 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 <laughs> my dynamic thing went in. Never mind, I got it back. I don't know if Quinn's still here, but if she is, this is the name of my pickaxe, the Quindom. Thanks to Fred Dagg's redemption. Okay, where is my bow? You, sir, are dead. Hey, stop moving. Stop it. Ha, ah, dodge and weave. Weave and dodge. Aim better. No, how did I miss that? That was so close. What is this knockback? What? There's so many of them. Okay, this, this one is the most important one. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Okay, enough. Enough of the bows. Thanks for the heal, cat. Appreciate it. Alright, time to go to bed. Stupid nasty skeletons. Only knocking you back because you're floating. I mean, uh, that uh, skeleton, the nasty skeletons, they have knockback on their bows. So, it knocks you back like really far. Oh, what is this? A gold creeper. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. If you let these guys explode inside your claim, inside your claim chunks, uh, they don't drop anything. It's a little bit annoying. Oh god! <laughs> Cat! <laughs> you scared me! <laughs> oh! 
and Hikanel taking a swing at me. Yeah, you really scared me over there. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna put one down here. And then, I guess we... Uh, <laughs> totally guy shrunk me. And we need some more structural glass. I think four should be enough, right? Oh. I can't jump. No. I'm too short. Oh, never mind. I'm back. Hey, buddy. Yeah. How many times have I told him to stop bothering me? Okay, uh, I didn't see a creeper. Apparently, there was a creeper somewhere over here. <laughs> the lead salesman. Sh the lead salesman showed up. Yes, that's true. And I destroyed him. As I should. Now, I'm pretty sure that the industrial fermenter's output for fluids is over here. So, what we're going to do is take some mechanical pipes. And just do this. I think we need to configure this to be output and now if we put something in here and give this some energy we should start getting ethanol so first things first I should probably just make 10 of these uh, give this some power so this is now full of power and then we need to feed this some sort of fruit or vegetable or something now there's plenty of apples in my system so I'm going to just feed this apple uh, you have 24 leads just from those guys let's see how many do I have I have 56 leads yep and I have not crafted a single lead in this entire playthrough so oh there we go we're getting a decent amount of ethanol that's good now I need to figure out a way to send items directly into this so I think what I'm going to do is just dig down here. Uh, we should have an applied energy six cable over here. Yes, we do. Nice. So I should just be able to pull it up over here and we'll put an export bus onto this thing. Like this. This is going to be exporting apples into the inventory. Now I don't know if I need any speed upgrades, we'll check. We'll check in the in a little bit once we've connected this up. So how should I do this? I guess this works. Need a little bit of dirt to cover this up. Now is there a facade for grass? Uh, facade for grass. Let's see. Facade. I think I need the cable anchors for this, right? Oh, there is, but it looks different. It's not the top block, so I don't think I can use that. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. That's fine. So there we go. We're starting to get some apples. It is a little bit slow. So I might just use some acceleration cards. Uh, and speed this up. Let's see. If I put two in there. How fast does it work? I think that's fast enough. How about all four? Oops. Okay, that's a little bit too fast. <laughs> but I guess it's fine. It's not like we're using those acceleration cards anywhere else. So might as well keep this fully stocked. Uh, apples are going down. Hey Naruto, welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? So we are already at 10,000 mil buckets of ethanol, which is pretty nice. And we're doing well on the creosote as well. Now I'm pretty sure we need the ethanol with like steel or something. 
So we need ethanol plus silver plates. So we need to make silver plates in order to make acetaldehyde. So that's going to be the next step for our factory, which makes plexiglass. Uh, this thing should keep working. And we need to start thinking about where to place the refinery. Where should I do that? Because I need the ethanol and silver to go into one refinery and then the acetaldehyde from that along with creosote to go into another one. So I'm thinking how about over here? If I clear out some of this grass I should be able to put a refinery over here and another one over here. Okay, uh, this thing is pretty dark. So let's put it over here. Oh, this is where the creeper spawned from. I was wondering because there wasn't any spots nearby, but I guess this was one of the spots. So I think we should be able to put the uh, refineries over here. Now, as far as I remember, they are a three by five structure. So I just need to figure this out. Um, it is steel scaffolding, fluid pipes and steel scaffolding. Let's pause this. And then one light engineering and one heavy engineering block. Okay, so let's get this started. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the same for this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, horsey. Seven, eight. Then we need five fluid pipes. One, uh, all in between. Then we need light and heavy engineering blocks. Light ones here, heavy ones here. Uh, and what's next? Then we have the iron sheet metal and more of the engineering blocks. Okay, that's fairly simple. I'm pretty sure you just do this again, right? Pull this up by one. Uh, what am I missing? I think it's just the redstone engineering blocks. Yep, that's it. Redstone and redstone. There we go. Chemical processing. Nicely, nicely. So, now this thing takes an input from the left. Uh, is there an item input for this thing? I don't think so, which means that it probably takes an item input from here. Which is fine. And then we need to find an output for this. Pretty sure this must be the output. Yes, there it is. I might need to turn this one the other way. Uh, hang on, hang on. There we go. Refinery doesn't need item input. Uh, in this pack it does. So the way this works, uh, there is a recipe for acetaldehyde which needs silver plates. So it needs ethanol and silver plates. Normally it wouldn't in normal, enigma, uh, in normal immersive engineering recipes. But in this case, does you haven't worked with 1.18 immersive there have been a few changes there have been a few changes in immersive engineering uh, they've added like plastics and stuff so there's this thing called fiber board uh, fiber board this is like a new thing from immersive engineering which needs phenolic resin so phenolic resin is made in the refinery and then you can use it in this pack to make molten plexiglass but then 
like there's different stuff that you can do with this uh, you can use it to make duroplast blocks you can make empty shells duroplast sheets all sorts of different stuff Th uh, there's been a big update i think to immersive engineering let me drink some water while we sleep Ah. It's definitely interesting because I haven't used something like this in a while. Now, okay, so this thing is going to be the item input. This thing is going to be the fluid input, which is kind of annoying. But I think we can we can fix it somehow. So I need to go all the way to the other side. Now I don't think there's any sort of pipe in this pack which doesn't have an inventory. So unfortunately I think I'm going to have to use mechanisms, mechanical pipes. Unless, I mean I could use the fluid pipes from immersive but those look really shabby. They look really bulky, I don't really like those. So this is going to go up here. I guess we can do this. I hear a skelly somewhere. Oh wait, 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 wait. They look really good if you're trying to do a steampunk wipe. Yeah, I mean they have a... They have a decent texture if you're going for that sort of build. But since I'm not, it doesn't make too much sense for me. Okay, could you stop doing that? There we go, finally. So we have ethanol now, all we need to do is, I don't know why I put my dirt into the AE system. Now all we need to do is provide this with some uh, silver sheets. So I think uh, in order to do that, I'm going to get a recipe for silver sheets, which is made in the pattern terminal. Silver sheet, oh, is it silver plate? It is. Okay, so that's made in here. And then I need a crafting card to craft this stuff on demand. So that's going to need a basic card which needs a calculation process. Oh god, this is a big thing. Okay, give me some silicone. Give me some calculation circuits. And give me some redstone. So I think I just put these in. Yep, that works. Now I should be able to make one of these crafting cards. Now please tell me... Oh, wait. The crafting card does not go... Oh wait, yeah, it goes into an export bus. Okay, <laughs> I got confused over there for a second. Whoopsie. I think I'm going to remove two of these because we can keep this upgraded anyway. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm just going to use it over here. Export bus, two of these, one of these. And I'm going to export silver sheets. No, I keep saying the wrong thing. It's silver plates. So, a system is going to export silver plates. Now I just need to hook this up to the system. Which means I need to figure out where to place these cables. I might just run them across the ground. I like how I've completely abandoned my original plan of building a factory for everything like I'm done I'm done with that there we go 
Uh, shouldn't you be putting items into... Oh wait, does this need power? It probably needs power, but it's not getting the items. Okay, it has power. I need to see why it's not crafting the silver plates. Uh, why you no craft? One silver plate with one silver ingot. Priority one. Hmm. Interesting. So there's no crafting status right now. Which means that it's not requesting the silver plates. I wonder if there's a reason for that. The device is online. It has a crafting card. Which is supported by the export bus. Craft items while exporting. Do not use crafted... Do not use stocked items. That's not working either. So, what's up for this? Uh, what if I put... What if I put like a drawer or something on here? Let's take a 16 thingy drawer. See, does this work? If I put uh, silver plates? Oh, there we go. That's working. So it seems to be not directly attaching itself to the refinery, which may be because it needs a different item input. No, that doesn't seem to be it. Let's see. Transporters. If I get one of these. Oh yeah, this doesn't connect, see? This does not connect to the refinery. So how are you supposed to pump the catalyst in? I am confusion. Okay, I don't see any other ports. Do you guys see anything? There's literally no other ports. Maybe you just need one catalyst? If that's the case... Let's see. So that doesn't seem to be working at all. Do we need something else for this? Acetaldehyde needs ethanol. And it needs silver plates. And that should be it. It, it was working? Oh, it is. Hang on a second. Interesting. So I didn't need to make all these silver plates. Nice. <laughs> uh, that was a waste of resources, I guess. Thank you, Jolly Gas. You saved me from using a lot more silver plates or oh, a lot more silver 